Hey, Sneaky Linux back today. Today we have Manjaro Open Box Light. Manjaro, a bit like Umbongo, you know what I'm saying? The ticket in the jungle and all that. But Open Box with Manjaro. Very, very fast, very, very clean. Some subtle differences apart from the screen for a start and it's Open Box, but I'll go through the main difference in a bit. The download is under a CD size, so it's under 700 meg, so everything should be hunky dory for all of you. Installation take around or around about eight minutes, seven minutes, so it's super fast to install, easy to install as well. Nice, super duper. As you can see, it's not using any of my CPU, only 90 meg of my RAM, super duper hunky dory. Installation actually under two gigs, so nice and easy. Anyway, quickly go through it again. On the side here, excuse me. <clears throat> Now the time and date, as you can see, is 12.34 p.m. It's Wednesday, the 20th. And it's i686, so it's 32 bit still. There is a 64 bit, apparently. And the kernel we're using is 3.7.10, hash hash one, and hash hash manjaro. So that's super duper. There are some super keys that you can do, so super plus D is to toggle desktop. Super plus F is the file manager, so I can do that for you. Super plus F is your file manager, and that should bring it up no problemo, like so. Super plus left mouse, move window. Super plus M is a D menu. Super plus T is the terminal, so I'll do super plus T for you. Look, make it all workage to workage. So you've got two there. As you can see, you've got a tint going on there, so you can move them around if you want to. And then super plus X is logout. So if I do super plus X, you'll see what I mean. And you get this nice little logout screen. That was alright, it's nice, isn't it? So you can log out, restart, shut down, suspend, hibernate, log, and cancel, which we're going to do here. And get rid of these other screens here and here now what you will uh, notice excuse me <coughs> what do you will notice <clears throat> as we go down we get Thunar for our file manager Terminar I remember it's heart space forgot to talk about that catfish for looking for stuff nitrogen okay nitrogen so you want a different background yeah so you don't like the one you got you fancy a different one well there's plenty here for you to look at okay or install so we'll just go for that one and we'll apply and there we go and in theory there we go super duper a nice bright screen now, a bit green, a bit you know, Vulcanish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. Anyway, back to the menu, which is a right click on the mouse, okay? There's no menu anywhere else on this screenage. You can take a screenshot, <clears throat> accessories, you do quite a bit actually. You get 7 zip file manager, no, no, 7 zip, it's not a file manager at all. Archive manager, bulk rename, catfish, if we've seen before, a calculator, leaf pad for doing your text editing, the LX terminal, parcel light. A screenshot again and Thunar again. Under development, we get Genie for doing your Genie stuff. For graphics, all you get is View Noir, just for View Noir stuff, okay? That's no, not black and white, I mean. Under multimedia, all you get, right? All you get is GNOME LC Mixer and PN Mixer. Under network, you get a server browser and a server browser, VNC and SSH. So if you want to SSH into your other machine, you can do it if you want to, have a bit of a butcher's. Right, under settings, this is all uh, open box stuff, so you get your screen stuff, customised look and feel. I've been through this already. Network connections, open box configurations, privilege granting, so you want to give somebody else some privileges, it's there for you, and the tint wizard. Under advanced settings, open box again, love it. Okay, reconfigure, auto start, RC, menu schema, config, tint 2 panel, the Compton compositor, con key, because I'm probably using a corner there, the Pac Man configuration, which you don't really need to do, it's already configured for you. The Pac-Man mirror list. Now, what I did, I've done find the fastest server. Now, I've already done it, so I'm not going to show it again. Now, what was missing, you're saying? So, I'll go to the system before we finish anyway. Can you see anything that's been missing that I've gone through just yet? Yeah, it's your comp browser, by the way. Mm. A bulk rename we've been through. G parted. H -top. I'll open H -top for you. You can just quickly look at it. As you can see, it's not doing anything, really. Okay, it's using 119 mega of RAM now, but I've got something else open, so that's all right. I can go now. Bye. Right click again, back down to system. And we've got System Profile and Benchmark, Thunar again, and two more terminals. There is no, can we say it, there's no Software Center, there's no Synaptic, it's all Terminal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I did mean Terminal. Now, if you've used Arch before, it's basically Pac-Man, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Super and T, Super T, Super T, and we're going to find something and install it. Now, you can do Search, but I'm just going to install it straight because I know it's in the repository. So we're going to sudo. Right, space, I'm going to do Pac-Man, space, hyphen, then you want capital S, space, and then you decide what you want to install. So I'm going to install Abbey Word. Now in theory, it should install all the dependencies at the same time. He wants my password. 
and go have a look for us, resolve the dependencies. It's found them all there for us. Do I want to install it? It's only six megabytes to download, or six and a half, and 35 once it's installed. So I'm, yes. And just go and let it do its stuff. And while it's in there, I'm going to have a little bit quicker drinkage. So there's not too much to show you here because it's open box. But it is fast, light, and it does what it says on Latin. Wee, wee, wee. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, I can get the Abbey Word plugins if I wanted to. But I'm not going to just for the time being. I'm going to open up our menu again, which is right click. And we go to Office. And Abbey Word is there. Isn't that nice and simple? We can make that full screen. And what version? Oh, it should be 282 or 292. 286 we are at. So it's an older version, but it's stable as stable can be. Oh, yes, indeedy. So installing stuff is easy. Yeah, sorry. But say you wanted to look for something. So I'm going to open up the terminal again. So that's super key T. Let me go sudo. I don't think you have to do sudo, but I'm going to. Pac Man. Space hyphen. Capital S and little s, and then a space, and then what you want to search for. So if I put in open shot, for doing my videos, for instance, what's my password again? If I'm to do it. Yes, it's there. It's there. So if I want to install it, I can do that if I want to. There's probably some other commands that I haven't got handy and I forgot. I haven't really used basic arts for a long, long time. Lots of other people do. Lots of people love it. It's a rolling release, remember, but sometimes if it does go bang, it goes bang, big start. So it's entirely up to you at your own risk if you want to use it. So shall we install open the shop? Okay. We'll do sudo again. Pac-Man. Oh, he's like Pac-Man. He's like Pac-Man. It was all right, wasn't it? Capital S, and then open the shot again. And it's 58 megs to download. Right, that isn't actually too bad, so I'm just going to click on yes, okay. And just let it do its stuff. Now, if you like open box or you like a desktop that's really clean, light, there's no nodges there, there's not much too much going on. You just like a desktop to do your work on what you really, really, really want to do. And I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want, and all that. Open box is the one for you. All right, it's minimalist. But if you really, 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 really wanted to, you could put a sort of software manager in there if you wanted to. But as you can see, it doesn't actually come with anything, does it? No, it's empty go. Yeah, there's nothing there for you to do anything with. So basically, Manjaro, what I've done here, I think is a community one anyway, what they've actually done, we've gone okay, we'll do the basics, a few bits and bobs, and just let people do it themselves. You don't even get a web browser. I installed Firefox myself. Yes, indeed, I did. While it's doing that, I'm going to have a quick drink it. Hang on a second. There's loads of stuff, so as you can see, it's a big old download, really, isn't it? It slowed me down, actually. What was that? Mmm. Very waterish, that is, today. Very waterish. Right, we're almost done. Checking our package into pages for us. The integrity. There's 64 packages in total, so that's quite a big one. As you can see, don't come with nothing, does it? It's empty go. Yeah, empty go. But that's one of the beauties of using an open box system, especially Manjaro, which is arch based. So, it gets rid of the hard bit for you. It's not completely terminal. And then you can just back on the stuff you want yourself. So there we go. We're coming down now. Yeah. Isn't that quick to install? So I mean how fast it is. Yeah. Install an implant, install an open shot. And then I think about it. And dun 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 Lovely. You can put these other stuff in if you want to, flag and all stuff like that. But that's basically open shot done for you. Okay. So I'll go to our menu one more time, and in theory, it should be in multimedia. And yes, it is. So we'll open it up, and we should go five for free. And oh, didn't even get to five for free. Do one, did I have to do it? And there we are. Open shots already here for you to use if you like doing videos. Obviously, you can get all you need to get all and all the other stuff you use. But it all depends what you use your system for at the end of the day, isn't it? Yes, it is sneaky. Anyway. Manjaro open box light and lagging lots and lots and lots and it not done crashing on me very much so very very nice indeed 96% yes indeedy sneaky Linux out I see you later bye bye